You know, there's a misconception about homelessness. Many people believe it derives from which side of the tracks that you were born from. In fact, homelessness, we see it stems from drug and alcohol abuse. We see people that are victimized by domestic violence. We see our vets that are coming back from serving our country and they don't have the coping skills necessary for them to succeed in this life. We see homelessness stem from people dealing with grief, the tragedy of losing a, a loved one. 62% of the women that are facing uh, domestic violence in their children find themselves homeless. A staggering 2.5 million children are homeless in America. That means that with every 30 students in a classroom, one of them is homeless. You know, every day these beds are going to be filled with individuals that are battling with homelessness in Central Arkansas. And we take it upon ourselves to make sure that we provide them with a safe haven. Food, medical, dental, visual. But that's just the beginnings. The people that actually enroll in our program is a nine month program where we help them get their education. We give them the tools and the skill sets necessary to prepare them for tomorrow. What we don't want to happen is their today to be the same. We want to impact their tomorrow and their future. Surrender yourself. Let the Nehemiah House use its great tools and awesome tools that God has provided them to make your life better. Um, the light of God, the love of God has been reintroduced to my life to a point that I am able to project that light to others. I mean, ladies that have moms, dads, you know, other family members that um, just got to a certain point where they say, you know, we can't assist or help anymore, and they just literally just shut off the line of, 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 of help or any kind of service to them, and, and then they find themselves on the street and homeless. And, and that's kind of where, you know, the, the Union Rescue Commission really steps in and, and tries not just to provide a safe haven, but some normalcy. A lot of people don't realize that uh, the, the tremendous amount of ladies that we are servicing in that are, that are homeless bring their children as well. You know, we have a, a full daycare that is here. We have, uh, make sure that they're their mental state as is, is well. We take care of all their medical needs, prescriptions, dental, vision, and, um, and these are things that we provide because um, we look at them as part of our family. These are the things that we would do with our own family. I'm starting my path and I'm very thankful for that. I feel like I can actually do what I plan to do now, which is go to college and be a nurse and be what I want to be, and it's possible because of this place. The thing I love about uh, the Union Rescue Mission is the individuals that I'm able to, to assist or help, um, we're, we're beginning a brand new chapter in their life. Um, they're, they're turning a brand new page, and, and that chapter's not yet been written in. So, so what they write from that moment forward is all brand new and they, they can begin a brand new life. Um, the biggest thing I've learned since I've been here at the Dorcas House is God. Um, it's in His hands. It's not in mine. If I, I leave everything up to Him, I know it's going to be okay. I know I'm going to be okay. Um, I, pray, I pray constantly during the day and the morning when I wake up. Um, I know with Him and, and Jesus in my life, I walk taller, I walk brighter, and I know everything's gonna be okay.